you're listening to the Love Tippets Podcast, where you'll discover a small, tasty, delightful, bite-sized tidbit of love. I'm your host, Leanne Austin. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Love Tippets, episode number 56, Soul Stories with Kim Job. We have the amazing Kim sharing some beautiful love insights with us today. All right, Kim, briefly introduce yourself. Hi, Leon. Um, I'm Kim Job. I am a life coach. I coach business with my husband, and then I also have a side passion project called Soul Stories, which is my heart project. I'm, I'm also a mom. We have a busy blended family with 10 kids and 10 little grandkids. So family is my heart. I love my family. It's my favorite. Wow. 10 and 10. I can't even imagine that many and that many, I was going to say that many bigs and that many littles. That's yeah. so fun. <laughs> it is fun. Oh, I, I love it. All right. So tell me, how do you incorporate love into your business and or your life? Yeah. So I love routines and the way that I incorporate love into my life and my business is through my morning routine. And I actually call it my morning soul aligned time because it reminds me who I am. It connects me with heaven. It connects me with my higher self. It like connects me with my soul, connects me with love for me first thing in the morning. And that sets me up for a powerful day for myself, but also a powerful day in my business because then I operate from that place. Oh, that is so beautiful. You said morning soul aligned oh, time. Align time. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, it that's... just like aligns me with me, you know, with my soul, with my higher self that we all have inside of us that sometimes we can't quite access. So I make sure that I intentionally access her every morning. Oh, is there any like one particular thing that you do on a regular basis for your routine that you might would mind sharing or? Um, Yeah. So I have um, what I call a a heaven journal and I just write down a question that I want and then I read or study. Sometimes I'll listen to a podcast, but I have a question in mind and I'm listening with that question in mind. I always, always find an answer. I listen to, I find an answer and then I find an answer and then I implement it in my life that day, whatever the answer is. So That is glorious. Okay. I'm going to have to remember that. Nice. All right. Okay. Second question. What is something you love about you and why? Um, I really love my compassion for other people. Um, I have compassion for the victims because I've been a victim, but I also have like an uncanny compassion for the villains. (laughs) the villains, so-called villains, but it's because I know they only did what they did because they were hurting. And I can always see that in people. I don't know why I can, but I can. And I love that about me. Really helps in my work with helping people through healing because we all have stuff that we're ashamed of, not proud of, and none of it defines you. Like none of it says a single thing about you. So I just have compassion for people. You so do, because I got to meet you for the first time in November and people are drawn to you. You really do have a tender, compassionate heart. And that is why I wanted to have you on today, because you are just so compassionate and loving and that we can fill that. So thank you. That is beautiful. I love that you recognize that in yourself as well. That's I I, I haven't always like I have lived most of my life from the neck up using only my brain and I didn't even tap into my feelings or know that I had them. It was like a coping mechanism to be the strong one to be the smart one. And once I tapped into my feelings, now I can't turn them off and it's magic. But Uh, (laughs) but it took some work to realize that I even had feelings. So Ah, so there's benefits into feeling things, huh? (laughs) There is. They're magic. (laughs) I'm with you. I didn't even know what a feeling was five years ago. And it's like, wait, we do have feelings, even though we like to shove them away. It's kind of a magical thing. So yeah, Yeah, I like that. All right. So before I ask you the last question, um, anything else you'd like to share? And also, where can our audience go to find out more about you? The best place to find me is on Instagram. So my um, passion project is probably the one that I would want to share with you. And that Instagram handle is soul stories coaching. 
So okay. you can always find the latest there. I have some free offers there in the bio, and then I always have just stuff going on, but you can find the latest information always there. Okay. Soul stories coaching. And I'll put that in the show notes as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. And then last question, what is your favorite question or quote about love? Okay. So I'm cheating because I have a question and a quote. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Perfect. <laughs> so my favorite question also has to do with routines. So I love journaling. I have a journaling routine every night. And my favorite question that I ask myself every night is what felt the most like me today oh. and what that creates is more of that, more of loving me because what felt the most like me is self-loving to me, you know? So when I answer that question, what felt the most like me today, then I do more of that. And then my life just feels better. Mm. That's my question. And then my quote, and I, it just came to my mind because my husband literally said it to me a couple of days ago. I recently made a mistake, kind of a big one. <laughs> and this was what he said to me. I don't beat me up. You don't beat you up. We don't beat each other up. We just love. Oh, that is beautiful. Mm. That's what I thought. I'm like, oh, I love the man I married. <laughs> <laughs> he is the best. Uh, yeah. Just when he said that to me, I'm like, that, that is what we all need and want to be, right? Yes. We all want to be soft and loving with each other. We never want to be hard. Yes. You know? Yes. And recognizing that and not beating each other, ourselves, anybody ourselves up. or anyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, that is glorious. Okay. And what felt the most like me today? today. Something to think about. Yeah. Thank you, Kim, so You're much welcome. for sharing your tidbits of love with us. Have a good one, y'all. And here's to love. If you're enjoying this podcast, please share and leave a review to help others hear tidbits of love. What would it feel like to finish your goals, enjoy your relationships, especially with your daughter-in-law, appreciate your body, and embrace being you? Join my Love & Me program today and see yourself in a whole new way. You're already really good at loving others. I'll help you become an expert at loving you. More information at leannaustin.com.